previous video lecture, we covered type 2 hypersensitivity reactions. Recall that, type 2 hypersensitivity reactions are also known as, antibody, mediated hypersensitivity. The antigens triggering these reactions are present on cell and tissue surfaces. Today, we are going to study type 3 hypersensitivity reactions. Type 3 hypersensitivity reactions are also known as, immune complex mediated hypersensitivity. Immune complex simply means, antigen-antibody complex. It is formed by binding of soluble antigens and, antibodies. In type 3 hypersensitivity, immune complexes are formed in the serum of a person. These immune complexes get deposited in the body at various sites. And, damage is caused due to complement-mediated reactions. Let's talk about some main features of type 3 hypersensitivity reactions. As we said, the antigens involved are soluble. Antibodies are directed against these antigens circulating in the serum. The antigens responsible for these reactions can be exogenous. For example, proteins produced by pathogens during some infection. Antigens can also be endogenous. For example, self-antigens such as, proteins, glycoproteins and even DNA. The antibodies involved in type 3 hypersensitivity reactions, mostly belong to IgG class. But, IgM can also be involved. These antibodies can be specific to foreign antigens or, self-antigens. Besides antibodies, the other components of the immune system involved are complement proteins, leukocytes such as mast cells, neutrophils, macrophages, and natural killer cells. Like all other hypersensitivities, type 3 hypersensitivity reactions can be local or systemic depending on whether the damage appears locally or systemically. In localized type 3 hypersensitivity, the damage is limited to the area where immune complexes are first posited. Local tissue damage is characterized by pain, redness and swelling. These reactions are not so common in humans. In systemic type 3 hypersensitivity reactions, the symptoms may appear in sites that are, distant from the original site of antigen-antibody contact. Multiple sites may be affected. Systemic reactions are part of complex autoimmune diseases. For example, systemic lupus erythematosus. In this autoimmune disease, autoantibodies are produced that are directed against self-antigens such as, DNA, nucleoproteins, clotting factors, antigens present in leukocytes. Another example is rheumatoid arthritis. In this case, autoantibodies are produced against patients' own IgG molecules. Let's now understand the mechanism of type 3 hypersensitivity reactions in detail. The mechanism is same, whether the damage is local or systemic. Immune complexes are formed normally in our body, whenever our immune system encounters soluble antigens in circulation. These immune complexes are then cleared by phagocytosis. The immune system is able to clear these complexes because they remain small and, soluble. The FC regions of the antibodies of these complexes are bound by complement protein C1. This activates the classical complement pathway. And then these immune complexes are cleared by phagocytes. Now, question is, how these immune complexes result in hypersensitivity reactions? The answer lies in their, size of these immune complexes. As we said, normally these immune complexes are small and soluble. Thus, 
they are easily cleared by our body. But the problem arises when, the immune complexes attain a certain size, that makes them insoluble. They precipitate out of the serum. Immune complexes can become large and insoluble when, certain ratios of antigen and antibody occur. The inefficient phagocytic system may also contribute to this. Because of their large size, they cannot be phagocytosed and cleared from the blood. So, they start depositing in a single or various sites in the body. The common sites of immune complex deposition are kidney, joints, and small blood vessels. Let's say these are blood vessels. And this is the underlying basement membrane followed by the tissue. These are circulating antigens and these are the antibodies. Antigens and antibodies bind to each other and form insoluble immune complexes. These immune complexes get deposited on the wall of small blood vessels. Complement protein C1 binds to the FC region of antibodies of immune complex and activate classical complement pathway. C3B produced during this pathway, coats the nearby endothelial cells and, these cells are destroyed by membrane attack complexes. Destruction is also contributed by inflammation caused by complement proteins C3A, C5 etc. As a result of the destruction of endothelial cells of blood vessels, the basement membrane is exposed. The inflammatory response also results in the increased permeability of blood vessels. Now, during this complement reactions, leukocytes such as neutrophils are also recruited to the site of damage. They tried to phagocytose the immune complexes, but unable to do so. They release their toxic contents and enzymes. This further damages the endothelial cells and the basement membrane. If this damage continues, the inflammatory mediators and other small immune complexes can enter the underlying tissue. This will further damage the tissue by the increased inflammatory response and complement mediated reactions. So, in this video lecture, we understood that, type 3 hypersensitivity reactions are caused by soluble immune complexes of a certain size. They get deposited in walls of small blood vessels or other sites in the body. Once deposited, these immune complexes then activate complement and, inflammatory response that damages the tissue. That's all in today's video lecture. Please don't forget to like, share and comment. Thank you for watching.